Many of you think Facebook pays $30 for a video with 100,000 views. By the end of this video, you will know how much Facebook actually pays. Someone informed me that creators are making it big time on Facebook and it is the best place to monetize their content. I was like, wow, I would like to make a video on this topic because many of you have asked since I made a video on TikTok that you would like to know more about Facebook. So I came up with this video. How easy is it to monetize on Facebook? How much do they pay for 100,000 views? Is it better off than YouTube? By the end of this video, you will get the answers. In this video, I'm going to analyze these two platforms by looking at their requirements for monetizing your videos by placing ads on them and some basic facts you need to know about their platforms. For many years, YouTube has been the best platform for video monetization for content creators but some years ago, many others like Facebook and TikTok have joined the bandwagon. So as a content creator, you have many options on your table. So you should be asking which platform is better and easier to monetize your video content. So I will start with the minimum requirements to monetize on these platforms. That is the list you can reach before they can start placing ads on your videos for monetization. Facebook requires you to have 10,000 followers with at least 5 active videos on your page with 10,000 hours of watch time within the past 2 months. For YouTube, you only need 1,000 subscribers and at least one video with 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months. Now, I want to ask which of these requirements is more difficult to reach, Facebook or YouTube? Let me know in the comments. Talking about their monetization program availability, Facebook monetization is available in 52 countries, while YouTube has theirs in 105 countries. Most of us might not be eligible for Facebook monetization, especially those of us in Africa. So you can check the link to where you can find out if your country is eligible in any of the monetization program. You can check it in the description. Also, there are ways to circumvent the Facebook monetization eligibility by allowing someone that is based in any of the eligible countries to be a co-owner or an admin on your Facebook page. Next is the size of their audience. Currently, Facebook has 3 billion monthly active users why YouTube has something less, that is they have 2.1 billion active users. So in this category, Facebook has more active users than YouTube. Now talking about ads placements, that is how adverts are placed on video content. On Facebook, your video will play at least one minute before ads can be placed on it. But on YouTube, ads can be placed before the video begins. So as a content creator, you will make more money on YouTube, but from a viewer's perspective, this presents a very poor viewing experience. Okay, next, talking about virality, that is how easy your video can go viral in any of these platforms. On Facebook, your videos can quickly go viral with less help from the algorithm. This means someone can quickly share your video on Facebook without copying the link. And your video can quickly go viral because if others view the video and click the share button too, it will quickly spread and go viral this way. But on YouTube, you can only share your video with its link. That is, you will need to copy the link first and paste it where you want it to be shared. And many YouTube users don't know how to do this or they see it as a long process to share a video. Still on virality, on YouTube, your videos strongly depends on the algorithm to go viral. But on Facebook, because of this in-app share feature they have on their platform, your video depends less on the algorithm. People can easily share your video and before you know it, many eyes will see it. So as you can see, videos are not easily shared on YouTube. Only the algorithm can make your videos go viral. Now, the next is support. As a content creator, at some point, you will need a help or assistance on how you can handle things on any of these platforms. So as a content creator, currently, Facebook support does not exist. Yes, it does not exist. And you're not sure where to go when you run into problems with its platform. Although there has been some improvements lately, 
Still, Facebook support is difficult to assess. And as a content creator, you wish you don't have issues with your account because if you're already making money and something like your account gets hacked, there you are on your own. But on YouTube, the case is different. When you're in the YouTube Partner Program, you will have access to the YouTube and AdSense support through YouTube Studio or your AdSense page. Both Facebook and YouTube has other monetization tools for content creators through which they can make money outside advertising. Facebook has monetization tools like fan subscription, which is an equivalent to YouTube's channel membership. Also, they have the paid online event where people can pay to attend an online event on Facebook. They also have the branded connect, which is another platform or a channel through which a content creator can work with brands. Then on YouTube, YouTube has monetization tools like channel membership, super chat, super sticker, super tanks, YouTube shopping, YouTube premium subscription, and YouTube brand connect. All these are other means through which content creators can make money without depending on ad revenue. For the past few years, most of Facebook platforms have been changing. Before you get familiar with how to use one feature, the next time you log in to use it, you discover that the interface has already been changed and you start learning how to use that particular feature all over again. This is very challenging, especially to those who are not tech savvy. And for their policies, in my own opinion, they are unstable. And this can jeopardize content creators steady income, which also means no revenue security. How much do they pay? If you watch my video, TikTok versus YouTube, I explained how factors like CPM, demographics, and countries of your audience would affect how a platform will pay you for ad placements on your videos. It is the same rule on most social media platforms. On YouTube, a typical video with 100,000 views will get $300. But on Facebook, a video with the same number of views will get $30. Before you rush to say the margin is much, I would like to point out here that getting 100,000 views on Facebook is much easier compared to YouTube. With the in-app share features on Facebook, your viewers can quickly make your videos go viral. But on YouTube, you will pray for the day the algorithm remembers your video. My thought on these platforms is this. You should maximize your opportunity by uploading on both platforms. It won't cost you anything, except if you want to optimize your videos for each platform. That shouldn't be an issue because the way you edit Facebook videos is slightly different from how you edit YouTube videos. And also, you can drive your traffic from one to the other. So in all, YouTube still remains the best platform for video content. If you agree with me or not, please let me know in the comment section. And also, give this video a thumbs up and also share it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.